Start with defining serial interfaces for sensor and reporting. All components in the configuration are added by selecting the Add Component button on the upper left corner of the Configuration tool, and then choosing the Component Role and Component. Choose Input Output as the Component Role and Serial Port as the Component. On the next screen, define settings for the Serial Port Component. Give an identifiable name for the port. Select RS485 as the port type. Select the correct port. In this example, we have DMS801 serial module in the DMU801 slot A, and we will select port 1 of DMS801. Now we have the first component defined. Next, define the serial interface for reporting. Again, select Add Component and choose Input Output as the component role and serial port as the component. Give a name for the port. Select RS232 as the port type. Select the correct port. Again, we have DMS801 serial module in DMU801 slot A, and this time we will select port number 4. It is the only port in DMS801 that can be configured as RS232 serial line. Move on to adding the next component in your configuration, the sensor. In this example we will add HMP155. This time, select sensor as the component role. Select HMP155 from the component list. Define the HMP155 component settings. Select the input port. Make sure the sensor poll address is correct. The default polling interval is 10 seconds, but you can change it if required. The next step is to set calculations to your configuration. In this example, we will add a dew point calculation that is calculated based on the temperature and humidity values. Select calculation as the component role and dew point as the component. Define settings for the dew point calculation component. Define calculation interval. Select observation source variables. The calculation formula is created with Python programming language. The code is fully visible and can even be edited. To get the measurement data printed out, the next step is to add a text report to the configuration. Select report as the component role and text report as the component. This report template includes temperature and humidity values. Add the calculated dew point, which we created in the previous step, to the report in the report format field. You can add plain text and control characters. When editing the template, the preview field updates accordingly. Select Add Observation. Select Dew Point from the available options in the Choose Component drop-down menu. Select Dew Point as the observation and define the formatting details for the report. Again, you can see the preview window updating as you write the code. Define the report interval. In this example we will use 10 seconds interval for fast response. To define the checksum validation method, select checksum. The checksum method drop-down menu shows the list of available options. Select the one that meets your requirements and configure the calculation parameters. The last component to be defined in this example is the output for the text report. Select report target as the component role and target serial as the component. On the settings screen, select serial port as the target serial port. In the input report field, you can select one or several reports, if available. Now we have the configuration ready. Next, save the configuration file on your computer for backup. Next, upload the configuration file to DMU801 by selecting Upload to DMU. The DMU801 will start running the new configuration right away. Finally, test the operation of the configuration. In DMU801, connect an HMP155 sensor to the serial port A1, which is the same port that was defined in the sensor component settings. Go to Device Console. 
information about successful data polling and report generation is shown every 10 seconds. If something goes wrong, the error information is displayed. Connect a terminal program to the DMU801 serial port A4, which was defined as the serial interface for reporting in the beginning. You can see that DMU801 sends the report every 10 seconds. For more information, see user documentation for DMU801 configuration tool or contact via Sala.